Hey everyone, it's Nate from Echo City Music Lab. So it's not every day that I get to make a piano tutorial for my favorite song of all time. It's literally just today. Strawberry Fields Forever is my favorite song of all time. Ever since I was a little kid, I love everything about it. The studio production is incredible. There's other videos on YouTube that go into that. Um, but the lyrics, the melody, the chord progression, it's just, in my opinion, the best. So now I'll show you how I approach it for a solo arrangement for piano and vocals. Let's do it. I'm going to start out by just playing through the intro, chorus, and verse. So you can see what this arrangement sounds like, and you can just slow it down and learn these parts by imitation if that's the way you like to learn things, but afterwards I'm going to talk through everything for the song. Let me take you down Cause I'm going to Strawberry fields Nothing is real and Nothing to get hung about Strawberry fields forever Living is easy with eyes closed Misunderstanding all you see hard to be someone but it all works out it doesn't matter much to me let me okay so the intro seems like a good place to start and half the intro gets reused in the verses one last thing i recommend getting the chords and lyrics chart i put a link down in the description that'll help you follow along and see where each chord matches up with the lyrics you sing the intro starts out with your two hands sketching out an e major chord in the left hand we're going to do the e with our thumb and then the g sharp with our middle finger in the right hand and the b with our pinky and the right hand's going to pulse on quarter notes so every count while the left hand kind of holds the bass notes so we've got e two then we're gonna step the left hand down to a D sharp and do the same thing. D sharp, two. Now we're gonna continue this little chromatic walk down in the left hand. You can just kind of scoot your thumb under to the D and do D, two. So still the same thing in the right hand. And then the last two beats of that measure, we've got F sharp and A, F natural, white key, and G sharp. We're in a nice slow 4-4 four, four time, so we're just kind of pulsing like this. Every measure gets four counts. We're feeling one, two, three, four. So, so far, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm using two and four for that F sharp and A, and then one and three for the F and G sharp. It just kind of helps it be nice and smooth. Now we're gonna step our left hand, second finger down to C sharp and do F sharp and A. So on your chord chart, it says F sharp minor here. This is basically an F sharp minor that's been inverted. F sharp minor. Now we're stepping the right hand down to uh, B and then E, G sharp. Notice chord chart says E there. It's an E major chord that's been inverted down yet again. Then we've got step that whole kind of shape down. So fourth finger on A. Uh, right hand does D and F sharp. So chord chart says D major there. That's an inverted D major chord. And then finally, you keep that A there and the right hand does uh, C sharp and E. So that's an A major chord. And then just to finish it off, reach your left hand down and do, these are A fifths, A and E. One, two, three, four, five. Let me do that whole thing slowly again. So that's where the chorus comes in. So this voicing we've landed on here with the A and the E in the left hand and then the C sharp and E in the right hand, that can be the A major that starts the chorus. So let me take you down cause I'm going to. Now we're gonna move down to this E minor seven. 
Left hand is just gonna play an E bass note. Notice I'm using my fourth finger because in a second we're gonna need to step down with our pinky. The right hand can do basically a G major chord, uh, G, B, D, and together with that E bass note, that's an E minor seven. So we've got strawberry fields. And then, so we've got two measures of E minor seven. Notice the second half of that second measure, it steps down to a D bass note. So it's gonna be like one, two, strawberry fields, one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna move to that F sharp seven. So left hand's gonna do an F sharp bass note, while the right hand does F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and E. If that's a big stretch for your hand, you can also just do the top three notes because the left hand has that F sharp kind of covered. So that's strawberry fields. Nothing is real. And nothing. So now we're on that D. We're doing a D bass note with that pinky, and then we're doing a F sharp, an A, and a D in the right hand. So this is the first inversion of a D major chord, and that's the way we're gonna do the D as it comes up throughout the song. Nothing to get hung about. So for hung about, we've got that same F sharp seven. Now notice on the chord chart, I put a little E over the word get um, in parentheses. Nothing to get. So the left hand just kind of walks up there. Notice how nicely that flows in the right hand for nothing to get hung about. Your thumb can just stay on F sharp. Flows really nicely. And let's talk about the time signature is a little weird there. The nothing to get is a, a lone measure of two, four times. So there's only two beats in that measure. One, two, and. So the E is on the eighth note after two. One, two, and. One, two, three, four. A little wacky. Sounds good, though. And it gets wackier because we have a measure of six, eight time. Um, but the chords here for strawberry fields forever are a D major seven, which is essentially just a D bass note here with a F sharp minor in the right hand. So D in the left hand and then F sharp, A and C sharp in the right hand. Strawberry fields forever. So for that A, we're gonna go down to this A, low A here. Right hand's gonna be E, A and C sharp. One, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four. And on the sixth beat, I'm gonna add a B passing tone in the bass. It's optional, but it'll sound like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And that's on forever. So really interesting stuff here happening with the time signatures. If I had to guess, I don't think John Lennon was thinking, I'm gonna do a measure of two, four time, and then what if I did a measure of six, eight time? I think it probably just flowed out naturally, and it sounds really good. You can enjoy the song and not even realize there's something weird happening here. And I've mentioned this in previous Beatles tutorials I've done. The Beatles were always masters of doing weird, kind of technical things, but in really catchy, kind of natural ways that you don't really pick up on other than you just like it because it sounds cool. So from halfway through the verse, nothing to get hung about, two, three, four, strawberry fields forever. And I just want you to notice there I did strawberry fields. I hopped from my fourth finger to the second finger to set up the forever. Let's take a look at the verse next. So the verse starts out the same way the intro does with the... Just the first half of the intro until there. Living is easy with eyes closed. Now I'm gonna go down and do the rest of the verse kind of low where it's a little more powerful on the recording it's kind of this light mellotron but then the band kind of kicks in if that feels too disjointed to you you can also just keep everything i'm about to show you up the octave you can play around with that so this is misunderstanding all you see two three four so we've got f sharp minor that's going to be f sharp a and c sharp then we're going to step to an a over e so E is the bass note. We're gonna keep the A and C sharp in the top and bring our thumb down to an E. Misunderstanding all you. Then we land on C. So that's that same D from before, uh, F sharp, A, D. C, two, three, 
for D. It's getting hard. So this is the first time we've seen this E. We're doing it the exact same inversion that we're doing with the D. So um, it's going to be E in the left hand and then G sharp, B, and E. And just notice that all of these, the D and the E, I'm doing one, two, and five for the fingers. It fits that inversion shape a little better. It's getting hard to be someone. So on someone, I'm landing on just a regular root position A. So A in the left hand, A, C sharp, and E in the right hand. This next part's a little dense. The simpler version that's a little more accurate to the original guitar demos for this would just be someone, but it all works out. So F sharp minor on out and then to D. Um, but I love the orchestration on the studio recording that does someone, but it all works out. So there's these passing chords between the A, then we've got this C sharp minor over G sharp. And really all that happens is the thumb moves down to G sharp here and the bass note as well. So G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, A. Someone, but it all works out. There's that F sharp minor. And then one more passing chord, which is gonna be the A over E. So E, E, A, C sharp and then to the D. And that just happens on every count, just descending. Someone, but it all works out. It doesn't matter. So that's to an E, just like we did it before. Much to me, D, just like before. And then A, like we had done it earlier. E, A, C sharp. I'm going down to this low A here. So after the, it doesn't matter much to me to and then I'm just gonna move my hand down here and do a little passing B it's optional so that's one two and three four and then one more thing I got my pinky sitting on E and one let me take you down cuz I'm going to um, that next chorus is just like the first one and after that chorus we've got another verse which is just like the first verse but with different words that's the no one I think is in my tree but for this verse verse 2 as well as the last verse verse 3 right before the verse starts there's this really cool So you just kind of float your hands up here. Left hand's got A as the lowest note. Right hand's got G as the lowest note with your third finger on uh, C sharp here. Fourth finger on C sharp here. We're going to do D, C sharp, A, G, then E, D, C sharp, A. Sounds good with a sustain pedal on. And the timing for that coming off of the second chorus is strawberry feels forever two three four one and two and three and four and no one i think is in my tree so after that second verse we've got another chorus and then another one of the then we're in verse three, the third verse, which is my favorite verse. And I'm gonna do something just slightly different for this one, so. Always know, sometimes think it's me. This time I'm gonna stay in this higher octave for. But you know I know when it's a dream. And now here I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna let the rhythm be kind of still for a moment. I think I know, I mean, Ah, yes, but it's all wrong. So on yes, we kind of return to exactly how we had been doing it before. Just a little bit dramatic, kind of feeds into the energy that happens on the recording there. After that verse, it takes us to the last chorus, which starts out just like all the others. It ends a little differently, though. We're going to repeat the strawberry fields forever a few times with some funny twists. So from the nothing to get hung about, got strawberry fields forever so that's that measure of six eight just like we were doing it before one two three four five six one two three four so for the second half of that measure counts three and four we're going up to that f sharp minor f sharp a c sharp um do that with the left hand thumb it flows really nicely going back to that d major seven because you can just keep that right hand in the same place so strawberry fields forever two one 
to strawberry fields forever. And now we've got another weird time signature thing. This is in three, four time. We have a measure where it's just on A. Forever, two, three. Strawberry. So this is the last line. We're going to do strawberry fields forever, two, three. Four. So each one of those lines starts with a measure of 6-8 time and then either a measure of 4-4 four, four, or 3-4. Four. I'll play it one more time. I know this is getting a little complicated, but... Nothing to get hung about Strawberry fields forever Strawberry fields forever Two, three Strawberry fields forever Two, three four. Now, I think that would be a nice place to end the song for a solo piano version. Um, the strawberry feels forever. But as you probably know, on the Beatles recording, then we got this drum fill that kicks in and we go into this kind of extended psychedelic instrumental outro. I don't know how many of you are going to want to do something for that section. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. So I'll give you a few ideas. And in a moment, I'm going to do a full cover of this and I will do an outro section. And if you are adventurous and you want to mess around with that, you can do that kind of by imitation. Um, let me talk through a couple of things though. So after you do strawberry fields forever, two, three, four, there's this guitar melody that comes in that's like. So that's F sharp, E, A, D, C sharp, D, C. So it's kind of like a trill there. And then for this section, I'm just gonna go back to A, fifths here. A and E and just kind of go back and forth just kind of establish a little bed here um, like one and two I guess it's eighth notes and then I'm just gonna mess around mostly on basically what's an A mixolydian scale it's like a D major scale but centered around A so C sharp and F sharp are the black keys everything else is a white key and you can just kind of mess around on that improvise but if you want a few more ideas you can watch the full playthrough I'm about to do okay thanks for watching this far I hope this has been helpful to you I'm gonna do a full run through now so you can see how all these parts we've been learning fit together take a quick second to subscribe turn on the notifications so you know when I come out with more videos like this give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next all right here's my version of strawberry fields forever Let me take you down Cause I'm going to Strawberry fields Nothing is real And nothing to get hung about Strawberry fields forever Living is easy without Misunderstanding all you see It's getting hard to be someone But it all works out It doesn't matter much to me Let me take you down Cause I'm going to Strawberry I mean, it must be high or low That is, you can't, you know, tune in, but it's all right That is, I think it's not too bad Let me take you down, cause I'm going to Strawberry Field Nothing is
is real and nothing to get hung about strawberry fields forever always know sometimes think it's me but you know I know when it's a dream I think I know I mean I yes but it's all wrong that is I think I disagree let me take you down cause I'm going to strawberry fields nothing is real and nothing